Hey everyone, and welcome to Yoga with Rachel. Also, welcome to day nine of our 10 day at home yoga challenge. I am so happy that you are here. In today's practice, we explore beginner friendly restorative postures. So with that in mind, feel free to bring along with you a pillow or two, as well as a blanket, wear something extra comfy, socks are welcomed as well, and let's get started. Make your way down to the ground, finding a comfortable seat of your choice. You can sit up on a pillow or a blanket, whatever item you have available for more support and ease. Let's rock our pelvis forward, roll our shoulders back, and tuck in the chin slightly. So by creating length through our spine, we are allowing the energy and the breath to travel more freely throughout our body. So speaking of breath, we will be exploring a breath technique called alternate nostril breathing. I personally love this breath technique because it can really help calm down the nervous system, tend to frayed nerves, and it can be really fantastic for headaches as well as migraine relief. So I will guide us through this one. All right, so let's curl our index finger, middle finger, as well as ring finger in, leaving the thumb and the pinky out, kind of like a hang loose sign. Now bring your thumb to your right nostril, close that right nostril, and breathe in through the left side. Hold the breath at the top, switch, pinky covers left nostril as we breathe out through the right side. Keep your pinky covering the left nostril, breathe in through the right side. Hold the breath at the top, switch, thumb covers right nostril, breathe out through the left side. Breathe in through the left side. Holding the breath at the top, switch, pinky covers the left nostril, and we breathe out through the right side. Keep your pinky exactly where it is. Breathe in through the right side. Hold the breath at the top, switch. Thumb covers the right nostril. Breathe out through the left. All right, so you take this away. Go at your own break, your own pace, I mean, following your own breath. You got this. One more round. Release your hand to your lap. Breathe in through both nostrils. And then breathe out through both. If your eyes are not already closed, I invite you to close them or soften your gaze. Take a moment to simply notice how you feel. Maybe you feel lighter, calmer, more relaxed. Or maybe you don't really notice much of a difference, much of a change, and that is perfectly okay. Remember, our experiences on the mat will be different and unique to us. So our affirmation for today's practice is, I give myself permission to pause for fresh air. 
Consider this affirmation for a moment. I give myself permission to pause for fresh air. In what ways do you demonstrate that? Perhaps even just taking time for your yoga practice. That is an example of doing just that. You're putting your to-do list off to the side for a moment and you are arriving right here, right now, making some time for self-care, showing your mind, your body, love and appreciation. That can be an example of pressing pause, making time for that fresh air. Can you think of any other examples? So as we move here today, I invite you just to keep that affirmation in mind. Consider how you can apply this affirmation both on and off of the mat. Breathe in. And then breathe out through your nose or your mouth. All right, open up your eyes. If you had them closed, take a moment to take in your surroundings, especially if you had your eyes closed for a long period of time. All right, let's send our arms from left to right, palms face down. Loop your shoulders to create a nice opening in our heart space. Breathe in. And then when we breathe out, give ourselves a hug. Left arm over top of the right. Breathe in to send the elbows up towards the sky. Look up, arching through the back body. And then exhale, begin to round through, belly button towards the spine, chin towards the chest, elbows sinking towards the earth. Breathe in. Elbows go to the sky, look on up. And then exhale, begin to round through. One more round, breathe in. And out. Breathe in to come back to a neutral spine and then unravel, arms go from left to right. Breathe in. And then when we breathe out, opposite arm over top this time. Breathe in to send the elbows up and towards the sky and then exhale, begin to round through. Breathe in. And out. One more round, breathe in. Breathe in to come back to a neutral spine. Arms go from left to right and then float your hands back down to the earth. All right, on our next breath in, we send our hands up and overhead, really reaching, sending energy past our fingertips. And now find a swaying action from side to side. Imagine that your arms are like tree branches just swaying in the wind finding some playful and organic movement, movement here, worrying less about what this looks like and focusing in on how this feels for both our mind and our body. <sighs> kind reminder to keep the breath flowing. And then we eventually find stillness, breathe in growing nice and tall through our spine, and then exhale, floating the hands back down to the earth. All right, so we're gonna be making our way to all fours. Please take your time getting there, really moving nice and slow through these transitions. There's absolutely no rush. You can place your pillow off to the side for now if you would like. Bring your big toes together, our knees go wide, sit back towards the heels. Now begin to walk your hands towards the top edge of your mat. Just hang out here for a moment, getting a nice stretch in our back body. Breathe in. And then when we breathe out, begin to release your chest towards the earth. Forearms come to the earth. And last to release to or towards the earth is your forehead. 
So some options here um, is that you can use your pillow or folded up blanket and place it underneath the forehead. What I personally like to do is I like to stack my hands one on top of the other and then rest my forehead on my hands. Now, if you are here and you're thinking to yourself, you know, like this posture is really not working for me, you can come to a puppy posture or even to a seated position on your mat. I now invite you to close your eyes if it feels safe to do. Really focus in on your breath. Consider our affirmation. I give myself permission to pause for fresh air. In what ways are you demonstrating that right here and right now? Feel free to do a quick check-in with your body, doing a little bit of a body scan, noticing any areas in which you may be gripping and holding. For me, it's definitely in my jaw, so I'm going to create some space between my teeth, part my lips. And my darling friends, we are here for five breath cycles. So once you have done five, you can open up your eyes if you had them closed. Begin to lift your head, lift your body, ah, rising on up. Again, take your time. It's all good. You can fix your shirt, fix your hair. All right. So the next posture that we will be exploring together is legs up the wall. If you are familiar with that posture, feel free to head right into it. Um, just keep a pillow close by as you may want to make use out of the pillow. If you are not familiar with this posture, I will guide you through it. It is all good. One thing that I encourage us all to do is to take a hair elastic out if we were using one or a clip so that way we can get extra comfy. <laughs> all right, so find a wall, a nice and sturdy one, and then come to sit by it on your side. So it could be your right side or your left side facing or towards that wall. Um, definitely for today, I invite you to create some space between yourself as well as a wall. All right, you can swim your hands back and behind you just to support you for the transition. And we are going to place our feet on the wall. We're slowly turning here until you reach a point in which now we are facing that wall we can lower our back down to the earth, placing the soles of our feet on the wall just to start with our knees bent. Especially if this posture is really new to you, take it slow. All right, and then once you are all settled here, feel free to begin to walk your feet up the wall. keeping a small micro bend in your knees. Feet are roughly hip distance apart. Flex through your feet, so toes point towards the face. You can imagine that you are carrying a tray of your favorite beverage on your feet. So again, there will be some space between your bum and the wall for today, that's perfectly fine. Keeping it nice and chill. 
And now send your arms from left to right, palms facing down. Allow your back body to just simply sink into the earth, the low back to become nice and flush to the earth. And if you're not feeling that sensation, feel free to just rock that pelvis forward, shining your hip points towards your face to really feel that connection. And once you are settled here, feel free to close your eyes. You can also soften your gaze. So legs of the wall is really fantastic for encouraging the blood to flow in the opposite direction, which can be really useful for circulation. It's really great for tired legs and feet. It can bring some life and energy to the legs and to the feet. I know a few people that come to this posture before bed. They hang out in it for at least five to 10 minutes before bed and they feel that it really helps them get a nice, deep and restful sleep. So if you find that the feet and the legs are getting a little bit tingly or there's a different sensation going on, you can always bring the soles of your feet to the wall, just stamping them there, just taking a bit of a break. Again, you are in the driver's seat. Find whatever feels good for you and your body. You know yourself best. One more breath cycle. All right, now begin to slide your feet down the wall, past the halfway point, and then bring the soles of your feet together. Our knees go wide, so we're kind of making a diamond shape here. And really getting a nice, juicy hip stretch as well. So we are holding some of these postures a little bit longer today to really maximize the benefits of the pose. To really go deep into the practice, inviting the mind and the body to relax, to pause for fresh air. One more breath cycle. Wonderful, you can close the knees, bring them back together, and then slide your legs up the wall once again, flexing through the feet. This time, bring your hands um, to the sky. And now let's just rub our hands together really, really fast, creating some heat, some friction. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. Left hand to heart space, right hand to the belly. Perhaps you can feel the warmth underneath the shirt that you are wearing. Perhaps you notice a rise in the fall of your belly on each inhale and exhale that you take.
One more breath cycle here. Wonderful. Send the arms from left to right once again. And now we're gonna get a little bit of a twisting action in, a recline twist with our feet against the wall. So begin to slide your feet down the wall, soles of the feet pressed against the wall. And now let's melt our knees over towards the right side. Getting a bit of a spinal twist here. We're guiding our left shoulder towards the earth so that way we can really have this beautiful opening in our heart space. If you have a pillow close by, feel free to place it between your legs for extra support and ease in this reclined twist. Wonderful. You can remove your pillow, place it to the other side, and we're just going to do the exact same thing just on the other side. So walking your feet up the wall and through center, and then melting the knees over towards the left side. Again, you can place that item between the legs. The name of the game is ease, support, love, taking a moment to press pause. We're guiding that right shoulder blade down to the earth as best as possible to keep the chest nice and open. Our feet are still pressed against the wall. All right, one more breath cycle here. Lovely, you can remove your item now. Just place it off to the side and we're gonna make our way to an upright position. So choose a way that feels best for you and your body. I'm coming over to my other side here just because I have a shelving unit in the way and don't really feel like hurting myself today. <laughs> so take your time getting up Come to a comfortable seat of your choice. You can loop your shoulders a few times. Find some movement in the neck that feels supportive today, such as some semicircles or maybe even full circles. And we eventually find stillness. Bring your hands to heart in prayer position. Bow your head, chin towards the chest. I invite you to close your eyes here. Take a moment to notice how you feel. Perhaps you consider which postures you really enjoy today. Maybe even alternate nostril breathing was one of your favorites. Maybe you make use of that breath practice off of the mat whenever you may be feeling 
overwhelmed, anxious, or even a little bit stressed. I am so proud of you for giving yourself permission to press pause for some fresh air. Absolutely amazing. Let's take the deepest breath that we have taken in all day. Breathe in through your nose. And then breathe out through your nose or your mouth. Open up your eyes if they were closed. Thank you so very much for joining me here today. I hope that you are feeling absolutely amazing following this practice. I cannot wait to see you for day number 10 tomorrow, our final day of this at-home yoga challenge. You are amazing. Take good care and namaste.